What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy, and we back here with Music Mayhem and A, the OG. First of all, pay your respects because this is, this is, we just got four songs, but these are from the OGs of Nerdcore. And when I mean OGs, I mean guys who have been doing this since like 2011, 2012, or whatever and such, right? Basically, the pioneers of Nerdcore. So, A, we got JT Music, we got Dan Bowl, we got Rocket Music, and we're gonna end it up with Supenium. So, hopefully, you stick around to the end, because I guarantee you, it's basically like this. As much as we always show love to the, you can say, modern, Nerdcore artists like the Schwabity, DPS, Rustage, Connor Quest, Britain Boy, and so and so, right? As much as we show love to them, let's face the facts. Most of them right now, let's be honest, they had to show the same, it's basically like this. They wouldn't be how they wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for OG members like Dan Bull, Stupendium, Rocket. And so and JT and such more, right? Because like I said, they paved the way for them. You can in a way you can say they paved the way for them. So either way, we're gonna start this off with Dan Bowl, Boba Fett raps, felt fed, fed for King, nice to appear on us, fit for King, Star Wars song featuring JT music. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there, and without further ado. Let's get in the video. Turn at the Django. This time I emerge from the sun though. So I like scars to be burned at a permanent tan. I will turn in my hand to the world of the gangster. Drag to the tunes by a banter. Back to the future, I'm tagged up an anger. So I'm a first of all, first of all, one thing with Dan Bull, when I say we give respects to the OGs, like Dan Bull's pen, right? His pen is like one of the most crazy. Jesus Christ. The return of the Django. This time I emerge from the sun though. So I like scars to be put. The that he rhymed Django with Sando. Saint bro. Burned at a permanent tan, I will turn in my hand to the world of the gangster Dragged to the tunes by a band back to the future, I'm tagged up an anger Found my luck, out of the clouds of tea uh, Now I'm looking down from a balcony uh, Down on the ground is bound to be Bound to full amount of bounties, I'm bound to be How many helpers are down for me? Damn, I can count it without any And, thankfully, I'm found for it Shine with dragon -y. The wild to the inside Are you gonna stick to whatever you plan for? I've literally got a pet rhyme claw I'll raise you the head up on your neck. Yeah. How did you do that? First of all, shout out to JT on that hook. But hold on. Listen to a reckon Boba Fett not a threat. Boba Fett's not a threat. But listen to the way how he just did it. Threat, wanna bet? Wanna bet? I'll raise you the head up on your neck. Yeah. With the death up on the credit, on the fishing for respect. So you better come correct. Uh. In days gone, I stayed in slave one, but it wasn't the greatest place to slave on. Now I aim to come back and great to numbers and the space to relay a resolution crumble. Yeah. Can't turn the trust to the Tuscan Raiders. Now they turn the dust and the dust to vapors. Burn to a cross to the curse of stay with them. I must return to the dusk and the daters. Calling a cop on the favors from the neighbors. They cut off a traitor like the blade of a saber. No pay for betraying or change to remain to the faith of a crate if you're laying in a crate. No, no rapper you know can just do that inner rhyme scheme for the whole. Cause it's basically like this. Certain times when an artist wants to do an inner rhyme scheme, sometimes they'll do like one or two in the in the line, right? But with Dan Bo, one minute he starts off a word in a first sentence, and then somewhere or another he's gonna continue 
the same, like continue it. You hear how it was saber, right? The last word was saber, right? The last word was saber. Listen to how when the last word was saber, you pay for you for betray and just listen to how he started, like how he started off saber. Just remember the last, like you can say the last syllable was bur, right? Listen. Greater like the blade of a saber, the pay for a dream, your change to remain to the faith of a crate if you lay in the crater. So Dan Bodhi, even though that's auto tune, still Dan Bodhi just gonna come in with that singing right there. How are you gonna sing and still keep, bro? The fact that he's singing and doing a rap scheme in between it, crazy. I won't even describe what I think of it as a time to lie low and a time to rise A time to strike your foes by surprise I'm the dying, you with the dire environment And fighting crime is in a 9 to 5 Winning a fire and from sunrise to nightfall Threading a fine line to find survival I ride from a size to Moss Espa Why are the mods that have got Vespers? That's a lot extra, get the Technicolor While the rest of the set couldn't get any dollar nah. That's a mismatched color palette for the planet I should shove them in the garage of the bloody palace I'll jab at the dot, run at the jab at the hot But with a cool backpack instead of a fast spot First of all, I, if I haven't said it before, this is like, well, I probably haven't said it. Why this, this is so saucy, like what the heck? This sounds way too saucy in such, hold up. Sorry, I thought my phone was vibrating. But this is saucy as hell, the way how he's like flowing on it. Like he's got that chill, like that smooth vibe in such. Like what the heck? That's a lot extra, take the Technicolor While the rest of the set couldn't get any dollar nah. That's a mismatch color palette Any color, the rest of the set couldn't get any dollar mm. Match color palette for the planet I should shove them in the garage of the bloody palette I'll jab at the dot, run at the jab at the hot But with a cool backpack instead of a fast spot If you see this, my dude, I know you're gonna see this from what I said on What It Do Dave's Twitter about him doing the triple threats, even though I said it was my, I mean, it is mine. Well, I mean, let me say it's this I know other people have probably done it before, it's us. So it is. And it's so crazy, the fact. You know what's so crazy, right? Is that when he replied to my thing where I said it was mine first, but I was trying to say it like in a funny way, but. I guess it, but it's so crazy how the mother su mother sucker you fucking word playing my name. How the heck you gonna do that like that? But all he literally just said was not very humble, Ziggy. That is such a. Even if you're trying to call me on my beers somewhere or another, you freaking still word playing my name like that. That's a like damn, but. Shout out to you and such, but either way, like I said, y'all better make sure, keep your respects to Pioneer Denpo. But on to the next song, and we and we got another Star Wars song, and this time, I'm, and it's with JT on this. So it's a Star Wars Jedi survivor rap, more than a fighter. 
Let's see what you got for this one, JT. Since you killed it on Dan Bo's song, let's see what you got on yours. I was given choice as a child to deny who I'm destined to be. Instead, I prepared for the trials, but the trials were not ready for me. Because I'm more than a fighter. Riding my name on the line Pick up a saber, give it a light I'm nothing like Vader, ain't no kin of mine How long have I been in hiding disguise? Had to go dark to get rid of Basically, Dark Vader that Look, I am your father So yeah Bobbing and hiding in disguise Had to go dark to get rid of my light Hope isn't lost, see it in my eyes I'll be at the sunken and riddled with lines But I'm getting finer with age, give it some time Check out the weapons I went and designed Equipping a blaster clip to my side I never said I was civilized You'll be bullseye like a want breath No more clunky in this combat If I'm struck down, I'll jump back in Even more powerful than your demand You because I'm more than a fighter I'm a survivor who's guiding you back to the light say this well the one thing I gotta also respect about the OGs is basically like this with modern nerdcore artists right they go for like the vibe where it could be like in a club base and so and so right where even when I say with the likes of Fable and the vibe where their music could be like on a and here's my keywords when I say should be or could be and so right and I still stand by right but with OG, but with the OG nerdcore, nah, there's no should be, there's no could be, there's no wouldn't, there would be. Case in point, it feels like it is. This is. The key words right there are this is, it is, basically saying like this is the Star Wars theme. And so, like this, like basically their music is it. Simple as that. Check your appendages What what's left of them Guess I'm just a cut above the rest of them I've been ripping and tearing them down Just like my ponchos wearing them out Scared of the dark but fear won't turn me It's part of the hero's journey Wasn't it Skywalker that they prophesied To bring a balance out the dark and light He's the chosen one, then we chose him wrong Trust me, I met him and he's not the guy I would never tap into revenge and hate If I need a minute, I meditate And yet I can't forget the past I'm here to the end and it's best for last Because I'm more than a fighter What's so crazy about it is that you would never think like there would be because basically it's like this if you as a person you as a person who's not only watch like certain cartoons movies or anime and such but let's be real before we ever did before we ever did all that right nine times out of ten we would be playing more it's basically like this we played a lot more games than we would have watched some, like TV or so, right? Let's be real. Like, there's no hate on the watching TV and so on, so, right? But in the span, it's basically like this. Between watching anime, movies, and so on, so, right? And doing video games. What do you think people will do the most when one day come back from either a job or something, so, right? What do you think the first thing they're gonna do? And especially if they come back from a job. You think they're gonna watch an anime and such to calm them down? Nah, the first thing they're gonna probably get, the first thing they'll probably do is play a game. And which game? To calm down your stress and such. Feel like you just wanna mm -mm. either like Call of Duty or in my case, WWE. So that's why I say these are like the OG, cause let's be honest. Before we ever had a love of characters on like anime characters or cartoons or whatnot, we just loved video games. And we still do. Best for last because I'm more than a fighter. I'm a survivor who's guiding you back to the light. If you follow me, you will be called on to give it all that you got. Cause I'm not gonna hide. Doesn't matter that I'm unconventional. After all, I had to watch a tempo fall. Skywalker turned and tried to end us all. Rules, I'm a hands-on, talking to a blaze, making double-edged, wicked to the face. I'm a master of various stances, practicing.
to some many precarious dancers Adding a blaster, there's an enhancement And I'll be standing where resistance is By the empire, span of expanses They're gonna strike and we'll parry their glances I'm not surprised when they get the chance To sit there giving me nefarious glances Because I'm more than a fighter I'm a survivor who's Sorry, lost my tongue for a second. All praise to JT Music. Shout out to him. Make sure y'all give y'all respects too. So, yeah. Now for the next song, we had another person who is music, but this time this is Rocket Music with a Garden, Garden of Bon Bon's three songs, Rival. So let's get it. Make sure y'all go to NPC. Man. Man, I wish I could. It's basically like this, y'all. I wish I could be able to want to go to certain events like this. But hey, even if I, hey, man, it's just so, one of these days, sooner rather than. All I'm gonna say is, one of these days, I would love to want to go to a concert that just has any one of them, whether it's like a con or event, just anywhere. That has these guys performing trust me I would gladly want to be there without a shadow of a doubt and I don't care if if when I post it on my Instagram or Twitter and such I'm gonna make sure I want to see every single one of them who I've either reacted to or seen basically reacted to and such and listened to their music a lot in my time trust me I would want to see them live and in person and you want to take a picture talk with them everything but either way, let's get into this, man.
bring a fitness back up. Bam Bam Javanium makes good look back at a hand it to him. Brings life into these mannequins. So I'm asking questions that no one's answering. How come this? Now nah, that's good rap. That's good rapping right there. Hold up. Sing a fitness back up. Bam Bam Javanium makes good look back at a hand. Bam Bam Javanium. Bro, that's good. That's that good you double time right there. Sing a fitness back up. Bam Bam Javanium makes good look back at a hand it to him. Brings life into these mannequins. So I'm asking questions that no one's answering. How come the serum's making everything smell rancid? We're sharing these dreams together. Now we're out here stranded. No. Oh, 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 the baddest feeling in my bow. Oh, oh, the only god in that I know. Oh, oh, I'm stuck here searching all alone. Hey, whoever did this, like, I know it's not AMV, but what's it called again? I saw it. What's it called? This SF SFM animation. What does that even mean? Y'all let me know what S. I know anim, I know AMV means animated music video, but what does SF SFM mean? What's the initial? What's the abbreviation? What's the abbreviation for that? Good. Either way, this animation. I gotta say, with the 3D models and all, crazy. That is some. Shout out to who did it? Shout out to Salty and for the models. Shout out to Jack. What is it? Jack Sockwell. Hey. And any base like this, I thought the AMVs were like fire and such. Something like some animation like this now, whatever. Where you have to get like 3D models to do something like this. Top ones, not gonna lie. It's A1, not gonna lie. Like I said, shout out to the shout out to Rocket Music for that. It had like that Ed Sheeran like vibe about it. Cause with the way how he was singing in the chorus and such, the mm, vibes, it had that Ed Sheeran vibe about it. And for the animation by Salty and Jackal Jack Sockwell with the models and such, that was something. That, I ain't gonna lie to you, them models look creepy as hell. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, but either way, shout out to y'all for doing what y'all doing. And like we said again, pay respects to Rocket Music and OG. And now, for the last one of this music mayhem, we got the stupendium with a summer, a summary in summer. Ace, this is a big hold up. Let me let me slow it down for my tongue. A summary in summer, a Genshin Impact song. Try saying that. 
it's even slow for me even trying to say that. <laughs> but this is almost seven minutes and I saw that little blue thing there, so this is a paid freaking This man really Hey Respect Let's get it. The academia would suggest all researchers thoroughly investigate the mythical stupendium subscribe button. This project was sponsored by Genshin Impact. More information about that after the lecture. Oh, hello! You don't look familiar. I suppose you're here for a little bit of lyrical enlightenment, hmm? Yes, we are. All right, then. Strap in. Hey. Welcome to the traveler. You're new. I haven't seen you. You stand amidst the grandeur of Sumeru Academia. A scholar in repository of knowledge and philosophy. Concoction and apocryphy are seldom to be seen here. I Stupendium is the type of person with... Bro, he's been... He, he's been doing this for... Sorry, not he. They has been doing this for a long time. Sorry if I got my words messed up and such, but... I'm gonna say that it's Stupendium has been doing this for a long time that... Stu... The production... Every time when he's done it for years, it's just been fire. With the... Bendy and the Bendy and the Ink Machine one, freaking Choo Choo Charles one that I seen. No, well, not the Choo Choo Charles one. The one I saw on him, on him and Dan Bowl and such, and then other ones. Basically, everything from the Stupendiums like catalog on on the YouTube channel. On basically on the YouTube channel. I'm telling y'all. Some of that, but some of the stuff there, crazy production. Not just in music, just in the video itself. So hold up. And trust me, this is a long, this is seven minutes, so trust me. He said, the scholar, I'm going to say it like this, I'm going to be in character for it. The scholar said, strap in. Well, strap in. Seen here, yeah, you stand amidst the grandeur of Sumeru Academia A scholar did a repository of knowledge and philosophy Concoction and apocryphy are seldom to be seen here Our word is efficient in a world with the disciplines Enlightening the minds of the world and its citizens Who strike me as likely a person who's visiting So might be you find your uncertain affinity With boffins and technology and not with the biology But you dropped in the college of the broth of etiology The study of what was and is their causes And well probably you think of it as history Simplistic but just tolerably So on it be the Sumeru to summarize events For the quick initiation to equip you for adventure the music of nations, the intrigues and invasions exquisitely relayed by a semi certain mentor. I'll be honest, there's a I can definitely hear the damn bull, the damn bull inspiration because that for we're just a minute in, people. A minute in, and the damn rhyme schemes and such is just crazy. The law of it, and they were never wrong. There's a reason no one's ever tried to show it in a song. What musicians of tradition throughout the kingdom might prefer ballad. Let us meeting wisdom, you'll forgive a little word salad. Right, here goes then. We'll start with the easy stuff. Oh. So I'll take you through the basics, the most obvious of straight facts You've landed in the land and the continent of Cave That is made of seven nations, death, the town, and then for pain And to ruin in the zoo, us, this finale, you won't stand I don't get overwhelmed, there's a plethora of realms Elemental, light, abyssal, void, and human where we dwell But don't think of them as places, they all take up the same space It's more like layers in a cake, well, no, that's silly, maybe well The cake is filled with columns, no, the elemental kind There's light and dark, respectively, but ours are called ley lines Like magic dreams of energy that carry all the memories Of everyone there's ever been and all they've left behind Perhaps I should have tackled this before we begun But the human realm was held by the primordial one I'd expect a god progenitor needs modern context yeah, first yeah, No, this yeah, is too yeah, complex, yeah, I'll save it for the next verse The Genshin dimension is pretty intense Although the events too dense to mention Now I don't mean to test your comprehension But I think it's best to pay attention If you fall from the stars for all sorts of fun travels Before you can start, you could hold to unravel The academia and encyclopedia is a crack source Want to make an impact? You need a crash course Right, you got all that? Good how about a little ancient history? Okay, you asked for it. I didn't. So many millennia ago, there was the sovereigns, dragon lords, the all-powerful sort, just sort of hovering about all seven with a territory embellished by their presence with their elemental offerings. You want to hear specifics, but we haven't got time. But each nation sort of got an impact on their climbs. There's cryopyro, hydro, dendro, electro, geo, I mean, I really convenient that they all... I 
I know y'all just saw that rhyme scheme, right? That little, the old scheme right there. Run that back. Because how am I not, you ex... Just listen. DJ Nation called us all an impact on the climbs. Let's try a pyro hydro dead no wheel and He gone too fast for me for even. So let's go. There's cryo, pro, cryo, pyro, hydro, dendro, electro, geo, amino. How in the world did... How in the world did Stupendium even... Did that? I bet you he... I bet you Stupendium did not just do that in one take. Nah. He had to do that. Stupendium had to do that multiple takes. Because there is no way in heck a normal rapper would just get that within one take. Nah, I'm sorry. No normal rapper would get that in one take. No time, but each nation got the way how he just did was so freaking. He just look. I know this is a habit of me always saying him and such. So, for for the sake of in the reaction, right? I was like I've said this multiple times. So please, for the love of Jesus, mighty, just hear me out. For the sake of the reaction. I'm respecting his pronouns and so and so. I'm respecting it, but for the sake of reaction, like I was just, I see, I just only see one person. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. If you heard what I said, I'm not trying to. I respect the pronouns, whatever pronouns he had. I respect if it was they and them. I'm pretty sure it was. I respect it, but like I say, for the sake of the reaction, I'm just doing it. I just see you only see one person, so just hear me out. But now for the reaction, back to what I was freaking out about. There is no rapper you know who can say a line, say one specific line, and there's a rhyme scheme in it, and just float on it like it was blown, like butter, like it was a freaking ocean. Listen to the way how Stupendium just did that whole old scheme right there. But an impact on the climbs. Let's try a pyro hydro dendro electro geo with me. I really can feel it. They all happen to rhyme. They know th no shit. No freaking shit. They all rhymed. They all happen to rhyme. They know the is the end is the primordial one. The progenitor I mentioned in the war was begun. The primordial one for the Lord of Dragons. When all said and done, the primordial one. The old world ends and the new begins. Which the God made fit to have humans in. And the peace and prosperity were brief. We could generally agree the human realm was quite a useful thing. And the gender I should mention, there were sisters in the moon. Only one of them was canon, but I'm pretty sure it's true. They lived in a lunar palace where they kept the stars in balance. And the people called the sea heroes to relevancy too. But that's beside the point. The fact is all we're living here. Happily, for several generations, God reside beside humanity, a great civilization. Nations weaved into a tapestry of arts and innovation, then the ancient calamity. The universe, it just can't be birthed, but it soon laid waste to the heavens and earth when the same. The fact that Stupendium is just telling this whole thing, just. You want to talk about SEO? This is the. I'm not saying, in a way, you can say this is SEO, but he's just doing it so perfectly. That it's so entertaining that you're it's basically like this if you have never played Genshin Impact before and you don't know much of what the story what the whole thing is about just come to this video right here and he's stupendium is literally just telling you the whole entire lore not backstory you might as well say backstory but just the entire the whole entire thing about the game that's it that's the one that you do, Yes, I swear that's their name. Suddenly ended the game, and well, the records are regretfully near. What happened next? We're not actually sure. They were far too busy dying. Did you drag at the score? The loose scissors eclipsed, and the CD will whip. Then let's just break with a chorus and then come back to the war. The Genshin Dimension is pretty in depth. And, has, and this has a chorus in it. It has a chorus. So, hey. I, all I gotta say is this. For the. Shout out to the OGs, cuz. Or not even just OGs, just shout out to any nerdcore artists out there who whenever they get a paid sponsorship and such, a sponsorship and such, bro, shout out to y'all for doing this because not only it's smart to, it's smart to get your bag, and plus, it's basically like this, you're getting two, you're getting double bags right now, 
one from the sponsorship from this and two just to make some views off of it y'all be thinking some of the y'all be thinking nerdcore artists don't be thinking as much nah because this this is what you call doing good brand dealerships knowing how to knowing how to sell a product while also making people discover who you are the loose scissors are clipped and the CD will whip The let's just break with a chorus and then come back to the war The Genshin Dimension is pretty and danced with a lens to lens to mention Even this session's attempt to attempt to condense it to dispense with all the questions If you hold from the stars for all sorts of fun travels Before you can start you want lore to unravel The Academia Encyclopedia is a crack source Want to make an impact? You need a crash course Oh, uh, you're still here? Uh, people don't normally make it this far. I thought you might have switched for a different video during the second chorus. <laughs> right. Listen up, it's time to learn about the Archon War. When it started again, we are not sure. It either started the calamity or after it. What matters is it happened, it was bad, that it lasted for at least a whole millennia. Again, be clear, we're guessing here. The date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Dare to quit. It's basically like this. Like I've said this before, right? With Stupendium. I've said this before, when you always hear of something that says written and perform, Stupendium literally is lit literally written it and performing it. Nah. You talk, this is, you want to talk about top tier artistry? This is it right here. Yeah, the date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Dare to question who do better and who gets to keep on blessing us. Seven divine seats while the heavens divided. Each nation collides with those they used to ally with as deities fight over a plate in the sky until they got a seating plan they could agree on the sign. And when chaos subsided and the seats were agreed and those nations in flames had their new deities decreed, all seven could they get up with an ear of peace. No, there was an ache when hiding beneath their feet. Yes, Kenry, I was underground and hidden from the gods, which as you can imagine, well, they didn't like a lot, so they smoked them with their vanity. Now known as the calamity, which back by quite spectacularly, but what were the odds? Cause they unleashed official tweakers, which was probably horrific, but again, when being eaten, no undocumented specifics. So there's an order 12, because it's plainly depressing, another half millennia, and hey, it's the present! The Genji dimension is pretty intense, but with events to dense dimension, now I don't need to test your comprehension, but I think it's best to pay attention. These sessions attempt to attempt to condense, to dispense with all the questions, so make a little sense and help no pretension, the melody to prep you for a section. Of fun travels before you can start, you've got lore to unravel. The academia and encyclopedia is a crack source. Want to make an impact? You'll need a crash course. Want to fight gods? Well, before your destiny, you're gonna have to battle with some law complexities. You can master magic or a massive great attack force. Want to make an impact? You'll need a crash course. There we go. We're done. A complete and thorough history of the land of Tavart. Everything you could need to know. Uh, I did neglect to mention the Nelsies, the Vision Wielders, the Vatui and the Abyss Order, at least one or two other types of dragon. Look, there's a lot, okay? You'll figure it out. It's stressful trying to keep track of this stuff. It takes a toll. Look at me. I'm only 26. Genshin Impact is an open-world action RPG game available on PC, iOS, Android, and PlayStation 4 and 5. Step into our vast magical world now and start your adventure on the continent of Teva. The new Parade of Providence update brings new events to experience, new places to explore, a new boss to face, and new characters, Baizu and Kaveh to play, yes, as well as the returns yes, of Nahida, Nilu, and Ganyu. Join the journey with travelers and reveal mysteries in the land of Teva. And thanks to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this lecture. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I do hope you found today's class informative. If you enjoyed it, you can find many more riveting, though less educational songs in the provided playlist. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. But assuming you're wearing your Akasha terminals, you knew that already. Farewell, traveler. Now, if you don't mind, I have a sandwich to eat. Say, yeah.
Y'all motherfuckers better pay freaking respects to the OGs. Dan Bull, JT Music, Rocket Music, and the Stupendium. to the OGs, man, cuz, bro, all I can say is this, even though I'm young as hell, right, 22, about to be 23 in about two months or so, right, it's basically this, with me, before I ever even knew about anime cartoons or whatever, most of the times, I will be just playing video games. Whether it be soccer or wrestling, the point is, or racing cars for a little period of time, point is, I was there, I just always love to play video games. And the fact that these guys has been, these guys has been doing it for a whole period, they've been doing this since, like for the 2010s I would believe to be. Case in point, they've been doing this a long time. So the fact that because of that, so the fact that these four people, ex in a way you can say inspir inspired a lot of other nerdcore artists of today, trust me, that's why you gotta pay respects to the pioneers. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't get new versions of what they did today. But hey. Hope y'all, hopefully y'all made it this far, man. Shout out to y'all if y'all made it to the end. If you did, comment down below, Pioneers. And that makes me know you made it this far and that you're a real home squad member. But, ah damn, I'm sweating as hell. And sheesh, stupendium, that, that lecture, <laughs> that seven minute lecture, I, I didn't hate. I couldn't even want to break down any bars per se, cause like you said, that wasn't. This was a class. This that wasn't even a song. That was a class. <laughs> but hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction, man. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.